So flutes has been a thing for about like the past five years, and you know we've had, we've had such an amazing amount of like artists come to the to use uh, Fishman and Fluence. It's been absolutely amazing. Tosin Abasi, Killswitch Engage, uh, you know the guys from Animals as Leaders, uh, both guys, Javier, uh, Willie Adler, got Lam Lamb of God. Devin Townsend, Stephen Carpenter. So it's been kind of like this wild ride, um, you know, for the, for the past five years. We're doing stuff differently. Stephen was like literally the first heavy metal hard rock player to actually notice fluence. And, uh, you know, I'm very proud of the series of pickups that we put out. It's a signature series, seven and eight string uh, set of pickups. Stephen Carpenter, amazing. He uses them in all of his guitars. Uh, let's just start off with there. Like, how'd you find Fluence? What happened? Just, uh, my Fluence story is kind of kind of not as glorious as it sounds. <laughs> uh, Frank Falbo, I don't know how many of you know Frank, um, brought the pickups to me one day while we were working on the Gore record, uh, our last record that we did, and and was. Um, was it? No, excuse me. The record before that, the Koine Your Con record. And um, he brought them up. And uh, at the time, I had all EMGs in my guitars. And I've been using those for about a decade. And uh, I didn't think anything of it. They just were in my guitars, and I was using them. And uh, when Frank brought them to me, I was like, what do I need these for? I, was, it's, I got EMGs in here, too. Why? You know, he's like, just try them. So I was like, all right, I'll try them. And uh, so I, we put them in one guitar. and. Uh, I hadn't actually played my guitar for more than an hour by myself in a long time at that point. They were, it, they sounded so great and exciting, you know, like, you know, that I just was stoked to play again. I was like, oh, this is amazing. And uh, that was before anything was available yet. So that, you know, it was just a, I had just a, a sample pickup. So I had only one guitar set up with the pickups while we were doing that record. And I, and I wanted to, I wanted to use them because they were like the clarity on them. You know, I was, it was just, you know, uh, I was blown away by it, and uh, the rest is, is, is history after that. We just made them and put them in, and uh, I don't know um, what to say other than that, that uh, I'm very grateful that, that they actually pushed them on me, that they did, you know, um, made, it made a, a, a whole another level of excitement for me sound-wise, and uh, I got to customize it, and, you know, have my little stripe with the glow in the dark on there, you know, and <laughs> simple, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not a, you know, a, a shredder, you know, I, I love shred, the shred playing styles, I, I wish I could uh, take the time and learn some extra stuff and step my game up, <laughs> I was saying, I was like, I need to level up, I'm still playing power chords, I'm stuck. <laughs> so, so when I first met you, uh, you know, we actually brought the pickups to the studio when we were done with them. And you play extended range guitars. You play six string. You play seven, but you mainly play eight, and sometimes even nine. I have zero six six string guitars in my in my world. Oh, okay. So seven and eight. Yeah, I moved which... on from there. <laughs> <laughs> so no, that was the cool thing. I mean, what was your experience? I mean, with all the low tunings, this is one thing that like I'm in the booth all day, and a lot of you guys come up and play the guitars and say, you know, what is this like? With, like lower tunings, and oh, is this is there clarity and stuff? What did you notice, especially even in the studio? when you started using these pickups, like as far as like the note separation and the dynamics, like what was, what were you feeling? I just feel, uh, I felt like there was more rich, more richness in it, uh, more of a, um, uh, you know, the, the, the clarity was great, but like the body of it, it, it was full sounding. It didn't, I didn't feel like I was like, no, nothing was dropping out anywhere. Like it was really, no matter where I played, just pronounced, you know, I was like, oh man really pumping it out <laughs> <laughs> but um okay so when designing the pickup what was it like to actually design the pickup i mean what was the process like because usually just so you guys know fluence is built on this like thinly sliced precision coil it's a 48 layer p coil most of these pickup companies have been making the same pickup for 80 years it's been like you take some copper wire you do you do the turns every single time like you they wind a pickup say if they did something for steph it would be inconsistent because it's like me asking you to like tie your shoes the same way twice, right? And it's never gonna happen. So our stuff is like super precise, noiseless, clear, dynamic. And um, you know, when we met Steph, like we have a very unique way of doing things. So when we had him, um, he, he first liked our modern series humbuckers, but then we actually designed a signature series where he got in there and like kind of dial in what he likes is for your taste. So he has two voicings on his pickup. So why don't you tell us like a little bit about what you chose for voicing and how we got there like in the session, right? 
Um, well, the one of voicing was the uh, when I had the first uh, demo model put in my guitar. One of them, the voicings was uh, uh, the Seymour Duncan JB, which was the pickup I used until I switched to EMGs, and I, I used that from the time I started playing guitar till White Pony uh, self-titled era, and. Um, the other was the was the modern the fluent sound, which was amazing. That was the one that I gravitated to first, you know. And uh, when we decided to do the signature, um, I was very lucky. Ken came to me and we did some tweaking on the on the pickup at my house. So I didn't have this, uh, uh, the 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 in the factory design where I, I feel like maybe I should do it, but I'm I'm not a big I, I'm not big on traveling. And it's what I do, so I don't, you know, for me to go from west coast to east coast, not easy for me. <laughs> my, my paranoia gets caught up in my. Yeah. <laughs> so, so most of these pickup companies, what they do is they like say Steph is like, this is what I want. They'll wind the pickup over and over until they say he likes it, and then they'll take that pickup and bring it downstairs to the Which manufacturer. Which I've never done. Exactly. I've never been part of a pickup winding. Event ever. Yeah, so and then like yeah, so let's say this is the pickup bring it downstairs Let's wind it a million times. And they're all over the place with us We actually got to hook them up to our like we have this analyzer We look at the pickups we like move frequencies around and Steph was just pro just playing at the time And I mean you pretty much nailed it exactly what you were looking for, right? Uh, I, I think I nailed it for what I was looking for at the time if, if, if to give it another chance and I have more clarity in what I'm doing now I think I do a better version of it, but you know, it, we, we made adjustments sitting in my bedroom, not the best place for audio, you know, um, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm illiterate when it comes to a lot of the technology, too, so I'm lucky that I have someone like Ken and Frank and everyone else that, you know, guides me through these things, because otherwise, you know, I'm simple. I go with what looks great, you know, it feels great, and I don't, I don't know all the tech specs. Like, we, we get into that conversation, it's going to go right here for me. <laughs> Well, we really appreciate you as far as Fishman, as far as joining the team, and being actually the first extended range guitar player to sign a signature deal with us, which is absolutely amazing for us. It totally helped our company, helped our, uh, Stefan helped us tremendously to get the word out to you guys. That's why we have such a great event with you guys. So, you know, if you're looking for his pickups, they, we make them in seven and eight string. Uh, you totally will notice them because they have this awesome glow in the dark strip right here. You can see them at night from a mile away. Totally makes them sound way better. <laughs> glow in the dark they're gonna make you play 10% better yeah I mean you just know it yeah so um, so with that being said thank you very much and uh, do you. you guys want to hear Stefan like play something yeah or? all right I guess we won't play no, I'm just kidding. what did they want to play? yeah holy shit I'm just uh, I'm gonna do a couple songs from the Koino Yon uh, Koino Yukon record that was the one like I said where I started with the pickup <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, Swerve City and What Happened to You. As you already can hear. <laughs> what happened to you?
Oh, this is shit. <laughs>